Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be analyzing our games against Asian Sensation, which is a pretty known YouTuber. I'm sure you guys know, you all know who he is by now. I'll also link his channel in the description. So yeah, he's this is a classic matchup. It's Helifarm Ice versus Dartform Super. He's obviously playing Helifarm Ice, and the map is going to be Frozen River. So this is a classic matchup. People have been playing this matchup since such a long time, and in theory as well as in practical knowledge, Helifarm Ice just wins because of the sheer amount of money it, it is able to accumulate later on in the game. Also, it has a stall which really helps out and it just gets things just get expensive for Dart player here real fast. So I'm gonna start off with a heli. Arguably you could have spiked the round, but to may uh, if you had spiked the round here, he wouldn't have gotten that one banana. He should get one banana there. Yeah, see he got a one banana there. So that's that's a misplay by man. You should you should just use a spike so he doesn't get a banana. But I don't think it makes that big of a difference. It's only like stalling like a few few more seconds. So I sent till I tell you the eco number for a heli is two sixty one. But since I see him going for his strip dart already, I'm just gonna eco stop ecoing. I'm gonna save my money and put the money forward to the farms. So notice how I am anti stalling this game. This is important because in a max farm game, Dart Farm Super does do better. This will just win against Helii since it is able to spam temples, it is able to spam some gods, you also have money to detect the micro, all that good stuff. So we don't want a max farm game here. So I try to anti stall. He sends some balloons here and to try and break my anti stall. But I end up bleeding for this since he doesn't send enough. But this ends up stalling the round. So I have two pathways here. I can either greed my money or and try and outfarm him early in early on, or, or I can just put my money into defense and prioritize anti stalling. There are two different types of styles of gameplay. Personally, I did a greedy move here and I did not go for my eyes, so I can afford my plantation one eco boost early, I believe. And it's all it's arguable, but what you can do, what some players do like to just go for a snap freeze here, but a zero a single eye is just gonna freeze the balloons and it's actually gonna interrupt your stalling. So he sends me blacks here. I'm just gonna buy my snap freeze as soon as possible since if the air balloons get frozen, you will not be able to pop them and the rounds will indeed get stalled. So I should go for I should go soon enough. In 60 seconds I buy the snap freeze and now I'm gonna send him greens to try and force some defense. Looks like he's saving up money and he's greeting for a farm. Okay. So I couldn't send him enough since I was able to since I was about to go for my snap freeze. So he was able to greet there. So well done by him. So now I just get back to sending greens. I should be able to send quite a bit here and looks like he's going for a spoiled. But he is off the sport and he's going to leak quite a bit. I don't recommend leaking so much with Dart Farm Super since leaking early on just makes it that you will have to defend the mid rounds and which is not over defend the mid rounds, which is not good because you want to have as least defense as possible. But also you don't want to leak low on lives. So I think the better play style is to just keep a healthy life count right around 100 life count is pretty good in my opinion. So. I do a tech here, it's just spike. I just spike here so he can't tell if I'm leaking or not due to lag. So on his screen it might look like the spikes are getting used up but we would be absolutely fine. So that's, that's the whole use of spikes there. Also I'm using them in a spot where it also hits the AI path so that's good instead of like spiking like right about here or here. So round 9 we both have same same amount of farms but we are out equoing by about 40 ish here and i sent him region less this is a deadly map for regions so he goes for a anti-region dart spot which works out for him so well done and now i'm gonna send him around 11 rush to try and force some defense obviously you don't want him to farm whereas i'm creating here which is really good for me so he's just he's just going for his farm so i notice he's creating and i just go for bloom booster rush and uh, he sells his strip dart for a spoil tail and he just uh, ends, up, ends up leaking quite a bit and also uses his spike so don't really like what position he's in right now i'll be honest because he's getting out eco by 120 and we basically have the same amount of farms here and uh, he's already leaked down so low he won't have spikes for more as well you should, ideally you should save your spikes for more as but since he's going super monkey i don't think spikes play that big of a role so we both around 30 bank here because I didn't add this to round four, so it's a it's a basically uh sacrificing of anti stalling for farms. See, notice how I'm out echoing by almost one hundred twenty dollars here, which is which is such a massive leap. So I just traded off my anti stall for a lot of money. 
because this is a map where eco is gonna play a huge role your farms will indeed get capped late game this let me count one sec there's three here there's three here four five six seven this so there's eight so there's nine farm spots token on this map and you will need to sacrifice your farm spot for heli placement so it's not gonna be fun your farm is probably not gonna play a major role late game for your money management so ecoing going for a high eco approach is much better in this on this map so unlike offside where you can just get up 25 plus farms so i sent him a mini rush here i sent like two sets of regions there just to make sure he boosts because he did have money for a second jug i don't know why he didn't end up going for it in my opinion the optimal play for him would be just to get up a second jug or his super monkey to help defense so he doesn't have to boost boost play a big role when you're going down from super since you can just boost to a lot of the things like a moab or a early cmg stuff like that so boosts are really important from dart from super even late game it's boosters and gods do so well against space cmg so round 18 i'm about to send him a moab i don't like also i don't like his pull spot there okay let's let's go into sand smooth real quick so what is what his setup is like is can i place bro like what what kind of place okay so what his setup is like is i think he has trip dot here trip dot here okay so he has this right now let's just test it out a bit ideally you buy up oh, that's a fan club i think this is the setup here's one more spot here so let's just place this down let's quickly test this how does this versus air balloons let's just test for round 18 air i guess so he is using this spot ideally you would go for a spot here or a spot here since they are the better jug for let's just test out how this does against air let's just send him a mini rush as well since it's probably going to leave an air so the spot's kind of kind of wax since it's not able to shoot in a straight line i mean here it kind of does shoot in a straight line but it's just meh you can there's better spot you can ideally go for a spot here i mean his whole idea is he just set this on last and gets a gets a gets this up to a jug so it shoots in a straight line let's see if it gets synced with the air blue so is it gonna shoot straight in a, in a straight line okay it is gonna if you set this on last it just ignores the air balloons and just sets on a straight line. so whole idea of this spot is it's gonna pop the leads before they get blocked so your super is not getting blocked by the leads which is a pretty good play by him so i guess i will keep the spot in mind this is kind of a good spot this is i don't really see it you don't really see the spot so yeah let's go back to the video now all right so i sent him a moab see he's using this spot ideally you upgrade this to a jug later on so he just goes for a laser blast here the jug, this jug on boost should catch all the leads and he's just fine for it and now he upgrades to a bi okay so i'm sending a secondary moab this is probably a misplay because he he has a laser blast so he can just sell his pulse and go for a right side upgrade which is the epic range it also gives it range as well as spears by the way so really good upgrade it, it should defend this pretty pretty easily and the jugs he just sets the jug on first and cleans up so well done by him probably shouldn't have sent a moab instead i think should have gone for a bloom rush instead try and force this jug with around 20 air that probably would have been a better play so i noticed my bank is full and i just cash out so we are out eco let's look at the current situation right now we have 900 eco that's about 260 more eco than him so we are out eco going by 260 dollars which is really good we are really up right now so i basically but he has a he has a lot of money cooked up in his bi if i were to take a guess he probably has like three thousand dollars in there not too sure how much he has but it's around that so he sends me a balloon rush this is a really good rush by the way by his end because my rotors is chasing right now and if the air rainbows is very scary because the ice is it's such a bad ice map and i have to boost to this let's just let's hop on to sandbox again and try to find the optimal defense for helios here so ideally you want a rotors locked up here in patrol at all times so let's just try this out since it also helps the it also helps pop the scent balloon so let's go for uh, ice here and was it which, what round was it it was round 20 right yeah so you go for this ideally you go for a second downdraft as well so let's do that so downdraft got and upgrade this to a power dust and i'm gonna get ready to double ice here let's see how this does against and he basically sent whites okay let's just double ice and he's, he's basically balloon boosting while let's balloon boost as well okay i can't really balloon boost since i'm targeting by my heli so see it's not even it's not even it's barely getting popped here the rainbows don't even get popped so this is a terrible ice map for 
Heli Eyes, then maybe if I try and place my Heli at the top here, since setting out a patrol for the AI path seems just too greedy. So first, let's just lock it in place here, and let's try. Let's see how it does versus AI now. So you put the Heli here, and this first see without sending anything. If it if it is able to defend or not, let's just lock lock this in place. Patrol as well, so, so I can double eyes. Okay, this is the double eyes. I will be good against the AI balloon. So rainbows are about to pop up now. Alright, so these are the rainbows by the way. So it's mostly getting popped up, but zebras do sneak by. And we can just micro the rotors here. Yeah, and we are still struggling. So ideally you go for three helis, I believe. Uh, one more quad dot should be fine here because he is going to send you balloons so let's go back to the video now so i end up boosting I, I have two boosts now which is fine because i don't need three boosts anyways it's almost impossible to cycle three boosts i mean you can cycle but i doubt it's gonna be as effective since you are going to sell your farms for heli sports and you want to keep your farms for as long as possible so you make a lot of money so he's now out going me though but i have more money invested in farms now but i do believe he has more money cooked up in his pia so He's able to get back into the game with just spamming white balloons. So well done to him. Now round 22 AI is the win. It is a very scary round for Heli Eyes because the eye shot spot is not is not as good as apps like Offside. So I end up going for a downdraft and a rotors. Ideally, you should go for a double downdraft here, and a single rotor should be able to solve all your problems. You should send the rotors on the top here, and the downdraft just cleans up everything else. All right, round 23 is here. I have I'm out coming him right now, but he's out echoing us because he's spamming all these white balloons. So this is the reason he's spamming these white balloons is because our farms are gonna get capped soon. All we can place is nine farms, I believe, on this map. So eco is going to play a major role in our money generation late game. So I really like this play by him. He spams whites, but since uh since I'll be sending him ZMG starting round 30, I'm, I do not opt to send whites because my eco will be get killed anyway so soon here. So there's no point in sending whites. I should just get up facilities and try to get up my money as as quick as, quick as possible. So I go for a fourth downdraft here, fourth heli here and a big destroy downdraft since I am kind of low on lives and I don't want to boost anymore. So let's see how this does. This should defend though. That looks like we are going to be fine. So he cashes out for a facility here. I don't know if that's the correct place. Since ideally you can cash out for a double factory. But he looks like he interrupted his BIA there. I'm not too sure. Ideally you should go for double facility though. Since money builds upon compound interest in a BIA. So the, lo the more money you have in the BIA. The more money you're going to be cooking. So I'm yeah, not too sure what he did. That's probably a wrong play. Since... You should ideally you should double fact after you get up a BIA. So he's sending me leads. This is also a bad rush. He's sending leads and blacks because the eyes can can't pop the zebra and white layer. You should be focused on sending those balloons instead of black balloons and dead balloons. So I kind of kind of panic here, and but for the most part, I'm gonna chase up and we're just fine to this. Now I have facility. He's up and. He's up in facilities, but my BA is about to be cooked up here, and I should go for two facilities here soon. See, I have 16k in my BA. After this round, I think I'll cash this out. So it is almost 19k, so it's almost full. And I cash out here. And I'm about to afford my third factory here soon. Which is good. Okay, I go for my third factory. So we are even in farms now, except he's up 130 eco. And actually things do get hectic here because of the AI region rainbows. It simply looks like it regioned out of crazy and I have to go for Apache. So this is really not that good for us. I probably should have went for should have went for Apache this early. I should have just focused on defending, but since I was not paying attention, I I ended up causing a region farm, I believe, and things just got out of hand. So yeah, I had to go for an Apache. This is very expensive. This costs fifteen thousand dollars. So we are going to be lag we are going to lag behind in farms a bit. So he goes for his plasma. So he's trying to defend this without without fan clubbing. But looks like he ends up fan clubbing either way. Ideally, you should just sell the plasma since it's so expensive and just cycle your fan clubs. That's what I I probably would do. But once you have max farms up, you can start going for permanent defense. So round twenty eight is here. We should be fine here. Apache Apache is kind of bad against balloons right now, and I'll show you guys in the further rounds why. 
So how, what's the situation like right now? We are basically tied in farms, but he's out echoing right now. Since he's spamming whites. I think he's spamming whites now. So the thing is, it's gonna be all out in me probably around 35. But not 35 just sounds too late. So late, like you're not gonna have enough money to defend. So I don't think these eco balloons right now are up, are the play here. So the air is kind of pushing here around. It's only round 29, and I'm already chasing to the balloons because Apache. If you didn't know, there's an Apache bug right now. It can't do multi-layer damage to balloons. You basically have to get a defense for round 30. Anyways, because apache is not as good as anymore earlier it could just solo the air balloons but now it kind of struggles as you can see so you will need more defense after round 29 i believe especially if he's sending eco balloons you're gonna be chasing a lot so he's going for his jug here i don't know what he's going he's panicking over there he should probably get up his three more you can fit he can fit three more farms he has forty five thousand dollars saved up so i don't know i'm not too sure what he's doing there so round 31 is here. I have max farms on the map. I can't I can fit one more farm where my heli is, but we're not gonna be doing that. Otherwise, I just die to natural balloons. So I try to find a heli spot here. Not too sure if you can fit a spot here. Let's just try it real quick. Why not? So he, we are trying to fit this spot. Yeah, okay. It is looks like it is possible to fit this. You just need to get it. So yeah, this this will not block your farm. So this is a farm. This is a prime heli spot for you, prime Apache spot because that way you can fit a farm here and you can't fit a farm here obviously. Let's just try it. Yeah, it doesn't look like we are able to fit and you can also fit your basic farms here. So I can go three here and I can go four here and I can go one here. And that's basically it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine is all you can fit on this map. So yeah, that's that. Let's go back to the video now. And it's kind of laggy for some reason. So round 32 is on the way. I start sending space GMGs, and he's getting a permanent defense for this. So that's good, good for him since permanent defense is the play. You will get trained since tech terror because using a tech terror ability to defend this, which is so expensive. So he's spamming sun gods right now, and he's also buying and reselling his fan club instead of just getting up a new one. And you can just cycle your four fan clubs. So he probably should be doing that since it saves him money. It's all about money optimization at this point of the game since you are capped in the farm game you cannot fit any more farms so it's probably you should be doing also I, could, I think he should be misplacing he should be replacing the middle farm spot and replacing all of his darts and super monkeys to other spots like the top top left looks pretty empty and the bottom also looks empty so he could have placed one more extra farm there if he did that also he sells a farm here I think it's way too early to sell the farm since he's basically handing these ZMGs just fine. So I keep sending round 33 is here though and I'm getting ready for his all out. Ideally a um, massive round 33 all out just kills Heli because you can't fit as many Apaches on the map. But he's not really sending since he wants to keep his eco for as long as possible. So he's he's getting he's spamming defense over there. He has to boost as well to help defense this. Ideally boosting is the play because it makes it instead of selling your other option is just selling your facilities for more defense. But ideally this is a race to whoever has more money. So he just trades a boost off for more money. Um, I think it's a correct play as well. If I were him, I would be doing the same. So gets a protector right there. And he's also microing his fan club. These ZMGs are getting strong though due to ramping and He's gonna have a tougher and tougher time to defend this as these rounds go by. Okay, so round 24, this is where he rushes. I try to stall these CMGs now. Um, I'm gonna start sending farms here soon just so I can fit Apaches. Um, I'm just gonna keep sending him space because Tector ability does does better against group CMGs. So we're not gonna be sending group. Just gonna keep sending space here. And he's sending a massive rush here. I'm just gonna get up my patch, Apaches. Um, I think we we should be fine here. Yeah, he only said how many is that, bro? One, two, three, four, five, six is seven to one. I can't count. Never mind. One, two, three, four, five. So this is six CMGs. This is hundred percent defendable, by the way. We should be sending more because since he have two boosts, but he is he does not have enough money to send me more since he's going to die to the CMG by the time these CMGs reach the end of the map. So this is the power of stall boys. This is why I think stalls are broken. Like. You don't have it's a mere possibility that i don't go for defense and he has to keep money up in case he doesn't die since 
I can still just sell all my Apaches and just rush him with possible on CMGs and the CMGs will reach the end before mine does since they have to stall. So I go for my boost here. Um, we are sharing these CMGs quite a bit. I've already defended two of the CMGs I believe. Um, I'm doing quite well here. I'm probably gonna defend this rush and I also have one more boost so I think we are just fine to this rush. We're going to defend this pretty easily and looks like he is running out of money there he is tectoring but these cmgs are just way too strong these are round 36 cmgs i believe and he does double tector here and does one more but it's obviously not enough and this ends up back let's just go back a bit so we can see so he's i don't even see a sun god i see one sun god here so basically has one sun god and forty thousand dollars in cash even if you defense this cmg there's all already one two three four five more on the way and he simply does not have enough money to defend these whereas we should be fine here to these cmgs because we have a boost and we can sell these we can sell our top shards and buy shards at the bottom and we're gonna we're gonna be just fine here so yeah that's the game man it just it's just, it's just a fact that dart farm super is just so expensive you won't have money to rush and send a lot of cmgs at the same time and our strategy has stalled so clearly heli ice is the superior strategy and it should just win easily there's nothing really much he can do i think he played well for the most part there can be slight optimizations here and there but for the most part of the game this these were games well played we did got we did get both get round 8 in dia so I think it was a pretty well played game you can always optimize the games there's always possibility of more optimization but it's just it's just really difficult for dot from super to get a lot of money so i think yeah that's the video boys and um, i just went here so yeah dot from super man it's really expensive maybe if they nerf maybe if they buff the super monkey like uh, maybe a reduction in price maybe the outcome would be different but yeah, that's the video man thanks everyone for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one